Okay, today we're going to be hooking up, hooking up to our GPS system for the tractor because we're going to try to spread a little fertilizer this week, maybe even as early as tomorrow if it's dry enough. Uh, we've got this simple little GPS system that I purchased probably 13, 14 years ago. Uh, they're a lot more high, high tech now, but this one works fine. Really, the only time I use it is when I'm uh, applying fertilizer in the springtime uh, with a fertilizer cart that spreads about 60 feet in width as you're going down through the field. Get it hooked up here today, make sure it's working properly. The first time I used it, uh, yeah, I thought GPS was kind of like black magic. I wasn't sure it worked, so I, I got it installed on the tractor and I drove for a ways and I had it set on a 60 foot width. So I stopped the tractor, put a flag out in the middle of my drawbar at the back of it, made uh, one pass, the other pass at 60 feet. And I stopped, put down another flag and I actually took a tape measure out and measured the distance between my two flags. It was 59 feet and 10 inches between them. So after that, I became a believer. We're gonna attach it to the monitor to the windshield here. It just goes in kind of a suction cup apparatus that you can see here, passing to the windshield. I have to attach the antenna to it. It's a simple little attachment here it just screws on the external antenna which receives the satellite feed from up in the heaven somewhere i'm going to go it's actually a magnet and i have a metal piece uh, glued to the very center of my cab above the tractor so i will take it out the outside door and just stick it on the metal attachment on the cab. Okay, we've got the antenna placed up at the top of the cab. So now we have to put in the power component here. Little prongs have to match up. And then it screws on to tighten it. Maybe. It's got that. Now the other end simply plugs into the uh, cigarette lighter. Keep the extra cords over here out of the way. And now we'll start the tractor. See if it comes up. Takes a little while. But you can see down here it says warming up, tracking six different satellites at this point. I think now seven. Seems like there's eight to make it fully functional. See the little flashing yellow light there. Now the green. All right, the green says we're all ready to go. And you can see in the monitor there, it says ready. Seven satellites, I have 29, 136 hours of memory left. So we are all ready to go. Took me maybe 10 minutes from beginning to end to set it up. Pretty simple. If an old codger like me can set up a GPS system, most anybody else can. And we're backing up to the fertilizer cart, getting ready to spread some fertilizer. These carts are furnished by the company that you buy your fertilizer from. They hold about, this one holds about five tons, putting in the hitch pin. Now the retaining clip for the hitch pin. And then we will hook up the uh, PTO shaft from the fertilizer cart and attach it to the power takeoff unit of my tractor. Being sure to fasten it securely. And this particular kind of cart, the conveyor belt that feeds the amount of fertilizer that's distributed is operated by the hydraulics on my tractor. So I'm hooking in the hydraulic hoses here and to keep the hydraulic hose is up and away from the PTO shaft because it can either get entangled or cause undue wear on the hydraulic hoses. I'm gonna get a bungee strap 
and uh, wrap around these hoses to hold them up again and away from the PTO shaft. It's just kind of a, a safety feature. And then the, the very last thing I do is to take off the, uh, the tongue jack you from the spreader. Yellow and light right here in the center. It should be this flashing light up here. Seem to be probably need to turn a little bit right to keep it in the center. But as long as this yellow light is in the center, each one of these lights means you're about six inches off of going straight. This is a big field to fertilize here. About uh, 80 acres. About halfway through with it already. Okay, five days later and several thousand dollars later, I'm through with the GPS system for another year, most likely. Unless I put on some fall fertilizer. So we'll take it apart, put it back in its box, and call it good till next year. Oh, for just a little grease at the right time.